Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful day. Actually, it's kind of gray and cloudy, but I have such a beautiful color palette that I have sunshine in our studio anyway, so I'm very happy. Uh, we are painting again with our rainbow color palette to celebrate Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to you all. Um, stay safe out there. Love is love. Be happy. Uh, so we're going to get started. Tonight, my inspiration was a beautiful piece done by my friend Fiona Art a couple of years ago. She was inspired by B.R. Turner's flop cup technique, which I've kind of always wanted to play with, but I don't think I ever really have. So we're going to play with that tonight and see how it goes. I have a beautiful palette here, which I will show you in just a second. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. It has been taped and pinned and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors, which I'm excited about. So let me show you those beautiful colors. The first one we're using is this lovely Carmine Red from Amsterdam. Go ahead, HOA. Carmine? Carmine. <laughs> Very Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> the big um, ragu. Yeah, right. Uh, the pouring medium tonight is actually Liquitex Gloss Medium not the heavy gel gloss. This is the liquid gloss medium and Floetrol. And my recipe for that is super easy. Uh, I do have a complete video on how I mix my paint for 2020. You can go and watch that one. It's about two ounces of Liquitex gloss medium, an ounce of paint, and about 10 ounces of Floetrol or so for a 16 ounce cup. So you can go and watch that one if you want. This is the Carmine Red from Amsterdam. Not very thick, leaving a slight mound and then sinking into itself pretty quickly. Okay, then we have Miss Marigold, my lovely color that I have been having so much fun with. This is the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold mixed with Deco Arts 24 Karat Gold. And she's just so pretty. Just such a happy, sparkly, shimmery color, which I'm confident is gonna go very well with the rest of this. So this is my orange instead of orange. It's my Marigold. Then we have, uh, what is this one? Azo Yellow Deep. Yeah, Azo Yellow Deep from Amsterdam. Beautiful. I want to encourage you all to have your lids on tight and make sure that they're closed because when I opened this one up and I scooped out some, I had so many little bits of dried things in there. It was driving me crazy and I realized it was because I hadn't closed the lid all the way. So make sure you keep your lids closed all the way. That's our nickel, or that's our Azo Yellow Deep. This one is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. This is standing in for my green because I didn't want to put green with these colors. <laughs> Very, very pretty stuff. And then we have Golden's Prussian Blue. My beauty, my love, gorgeous stuff. And then we have um, Amsterdam's Permanent Violet Dark, which again, this one was the last little bit in my tub. So I sat there picking out dried bits, which is irritating. I need to get some more. <laughs> and then I have some Titanium White here, also from Amsterdam. Okay, so we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and white. Okay, so what we're going to do is that's a 24 by 24. We need 21 ounces of paint. I'm going to keep use a 16 ounce cup and I have flow extender. Let's go ahead and layer this. Let's see, I think I'm not gonna go in a rainbow order for the first shot. I might do that the second time. I'm gonna start with some of that metallic cobalt. I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there. And we're gonna go into our Prussian blue. And then some of this beautiful purple, the deep, the uh, permanent violet dark. And I'm gonna put some more white in there. And then we're gonna go with our red. And then the marigold. And then some yellow. white and then we're going to go back to the Prussian permanent violet dark metallic cobalt a little bit of white mm. all right we'll do small layers it's going to be full 
So you've got Roy T. Biv instead of Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Turquoise instead of green. There you go. Okay, so here's our flop cup ready to be flopped. I'm pull our canvas over. This is my Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with Gloss Medium and Flotro. And I do like to put the gloss medium in with my base coat background color too, because a couple of times that I haven't done it and I've just had flow troll in there, it dries very, very matte. And I want the background to be the same shine as everything else. So we're gonna pour kind of a big circle of this and we're gonna stretch it out just a little bit. This is also a great opportunity to make sure there's no lumps or bumps in your base coat and make sure everything is smooth the way it should be. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Okay, HOA. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to actually torch that real quick. I... So, we're going to flop our flop cup. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Here we go. trippy. Do you think we need a little more paint? Doesn't look like a lot of paint to me. It doesn't. I think maybe we're going to layer another cup and add a little bit more. Let's see. Maybe we'll only go about halfway this time. But I definitely want some more of the reds in there. So I'm going to start with the red this time. And we're going to just go through it again. Marigold. Yellow. A little bit white. Turquoise, depression, and a little bit of white on top of that. Okay. I'm going to do this one more time, I think through here this time. Okay. Are you ready, darling? Yes, my love. Here we go. I'm not flopping very well. <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch B.R. Turner's video to see what his flopping technique looks like in person. So, but that was still fun. There is some pretty stuff happening over there. So let's tilt this out. Actually, I've got to put a little bit more base coat down around the edges. It's like an external um, dirty cup because <laughs> you're like <laughs> mixing the paint. It like hits the thing. Kind of, yeah. things happening in here for sure all right let's see I think we're gonna go maybe off of this corner first nice and easy I'm not tilting it super fast because I don't want to lose a ton of paint I do want to go off that edge Take it back to the center we're going to go all the way down to that other corner now. Back to the middle a little bit. I'm going to go down this way now.
I kind of like what's happening in a few different places, but I'm not crazy about that big red blob. So we're going to kind of let some of that go. So that we can stretch out our paint. Because we're starting to get some pretty cells coming up too. I'm going to take this back down now. Maybe get rid of a little bit of this or at least compress it. Composition is yours. You decide what you keep on there. Paint does have a say, but you get to decide what you keep and what you get rid of. Wait, wait, bug. Okay. Go down this way a little bit and see if we can get rid of a little bit of that yellow. Because there's a lot right there. Interesting. <laughs> what do you think, HOA? Kind of yeah. galactic. Yeah. I'm not really crazy about that big white blob, but I don't really want to do anything to it. Because there's some actually really cool things happening in here. Sarah Mack, when she does her ninja swipes, HOA, and she flings the paint, she gets this like spirally unicorn horn, wow. which is kind of what happened in here and over here. It kind of looks really cool. A little bit in there too, when they're stretched out and opened up. So since we've actually taken quite a bit of the paint off and it's stretched out thin on the surface, now we're getting some cells popping through, which are really pretty. I love those right there. And I like all of these little ones too. So this is looking pretty cool. I like it. What do you think, HOA? Good? Okay. I like it. Okay, cool. Do you think that it might be worth it to maybe swipe through there? Like one line? Or maybe just use our stick and wreck that little bit a little bit? Add a little bit of, break up that solid. At least it broke it up a little bit. Take it down just a smidge. Yeah, I think that was an improvement. Yeah, just broke it up a little bit. Well, this is looking pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be dry enough to show you tomorrow, <laughs> but I will show you the dried results in our next video. Uh, it's been a busy week around here. Um, but this is cool looking. So thank you so much for being here. Please check out our train today with Brian Siglarski from Studio 15 Acrylics and Kelly from Feral Art and Nate Bright from Nate Bright Art, our sexy caboose. She's hilarious. So this is kind of fun. I like this one a lot. I'll show you guys next week when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And thank you to Fiona and B.R. Turner Art for his flop cup technique and my lovely Fiona for her inspiration as always. So we'll see you guys real soon.